60 actually. Hello everyone. This is Jake C, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so what are we doing today in my truck? Well, here's the deal. It is uh, October 17th, 18th? I don't know, something like that. And uh, it's cold out. It's 33 degrees. Um, and it's Monday, and I woke up kind of late, and I don't feel like taking my motorcycle. So the thing is, I wanted to try something that I've been thinking about doing, and I want everyone's opinions on if I should do this or not. So last year, during the winter, I had zero videos whatsoever, pretty much. I had, I don't know, you know, the occasional video here and there of, you know, one, one thing or another. I don't even know what I posted about. But uh, this winter, um, I have posted a bunch of riding videos that I never posted before because uh, I, I made too many this summer and they're all posted up for the winter so that you can watch them, you know, old footage in the winter. But what I was thinking was, not only can I leave up that footage and have all that old footage in the winter, but I can also be making new footage like this and uh, in the truck, of course, not in the bike because I won't be able to ride it in the winter time, but I'll at least have new footage in a vehicle. Um, I know it's not nearly the same thing, but it gives me a way to stay up to date with the channel because I didn't do that last year and I think that, you know, that, that hurts subscribership, that hurts people's interest in it because if you can't watch something or, you know, do something all year round, you start to forget about it. If I can bridge the gap between winter via old videos and driving in here, so if that can do it for me and try to keep all my numbers, you know, the same or going up, then I think that's in my best interest and I would hope or I'd like to think that everyone would enjoy that, you know, enjoy watching videos and stuff um, during the winter because thanks to the great state of New York, I can't really make motorcycle videos in the winter with the salt and sand on the roads and of course just the cold, but it's really the salt and the sand that gets you because it's just slippery out there and dangerous, you know. I mean, I can deal with the occasional patch of snow as long as most of the roads just dry and clean. But you get a bunch of sand in the center of the road and it just becomes a freaking disaster. I can make videos, some videos in the winter. Then, uh, you know, it'll give me the opportunity, like I said, to, to continue the channel. Now, the other thing I, I wanted to do this summer that I never I had some lofty goals and never really got to them was I wanted to get another camera so I could do multiple shots and stuff and I wanted to uh, really get into video editing more and try to make the videos cleaner looking and stuff like that and I just wanted to do more with the channel overall. Now unfortunately my summer was really really busy especially at the beginning of the summer and uh, once I'm back in college like I am now it's it's doable but it's tough to do stuff with the channel I mean I got a lot of stuff going on between work and college and you know, all sorts of stuff and then still my, my other goal is what I was thinking of doing possibly is there is there's always there's always some work here and there that I do on my bike in the wintertime. Um, you know, even something as simple as a fluid change, you know, late fall fluid change or a, you know, let's say I had to change fork seals or I had to do a tire or like you know, brakes or I don't know, whatever. I mean some, you know, little change or maintenance thing. And, and I've always wanted to do this, but these types of videos take a ton of time. But I would love, love to do like informative repair videos and stuff. Because I feel like there's a lot of, there's not a lot of stuff out there for the Sportster. And yet, so many people buy the Harley Sportster. That I feel like if I put videos out there, A, a lot of people watch them, B, it would maybe draw people into motorcycle riding. Because if they knew that they could fix their bike and knew how easy the Harleys are to work on, and other similar bikes they might be more willing to buy a bike and saying okay well i can actually afford to keep this and i don't have to run off to the dealer every single time i need to get work done on it. so i would love to do videos like that but they just take forever 
you know, you have to, you really have to devote, like, you know, if you do, like, a, like, a 10-minute video of some repair, it probably takes you five hours between editing and filming it, if you want to do it right. Maybe longer, and, and that's a lot of time to spend for a 10-minute video. I would have loved to have done a uh, repair video of my clutch. You know, doing the clutch because that's something that it's not that hard for your average Joe to do. It just looks really intimidating, like you know, replacing your clutch. Oh my God, there's all these discs, there's all this, there's all that. It looks really, really hard, but it's not. It's actually really easy. It's not that much harder than changing your oil. You know, if you have a torque wrench and, and the one special tool you need, it, it's really not hard at all. And so I would love for people to be able to see that and just realize that they can do this stuff with minimal tools, you know, a couple hundred bucks worth of tools that will pay for themselves, no problem, and, uh, you know, a service manual and, like, some, you know, a special tool here and there, and you can do so much stuff and uh, on your bike and even on your car and uh, save yourself a ton of money, and, and in my opinion, you might get some gratification out of it, you know, it makes you happy um, to have done certain things yourself. I mean, I, I think it's kind of a nice feeling to fix your bike yourself you know take something that's broken and you can't even ride and then fix it to a point where it rides perfectly or drives perfectly it's very satisfying to me anyway but uh, yeah i'll catch you guys later and stay safe out there driving or riding and uh yeah hopefully i can make the winter as good as possible considering the uh you know, the disadvantages of not being able to ride the bike much so. peace out guys i don't know if i can turn this camera off Ooh.